study tribes that um, haven't changed through what? I once spent my weekend, one of the best weekends of my life, alone in my apartment with my television. <laughs> you guys look at me. Now you guys really look at me. This guy's really nuts. Watching the Discovery, uh, no, the Travel Channel. Did you guys ever see this about the mech? Yeah, did you watch that? That was interesting, wasn't it? Nice. The mech. People study the mech. They study different tribes so they can see how sort of humans we, we've sort of developed and what cultures we, what sort of rituals we've had. And even in the mech, if you wanted to get married, remember that? The guy wanted to get married. And he couldn't afford to get married. <laughs> he wanted to marry this girl. So the family came down from another village. And he didn't have enough to marry her. The family was angry. It was, they were insulted. We're not trash. How could you only offer one sick pig for our daughter? You remember that? You had a pig and it was sick. They were insulted. The bride price was one sick Eddie, one sick pig. You know what the father did? He was insulted. He was angry. He left. He still gave the blessing and accepted the bride price, but he had to pay the, he actually had to pay in installments. He had to pay five pigs just for the right to marry the daughter. Did you guys know that? Yes. It was an installment. I was looking at it. I was like, oh, my God. Poor guy. He has to pay. He, he may never pay it. But the family was insulted. Huh? Don't know. But they have divorces, too. So what this means is really, I mean, as human beings, as we've developed, we've actually developed certain rituals. And they're across the board, different cultures. Same rituals about marrying someone. Okay, The modern ritual that you may think that, you may think that doesn't exist, sure it does. You get that engagement ring, that's a bride price. That's where it comes from, your, your, your sake. And some families, they won't even give the blessing unless the guy, what, has a job. Do you guys know that? Why? Why in some cultures they ask for your hand in marriage? You guys know that? You got to go. I once got married. Don't worry, Ed. We're going to edit all this stuff out. <laughs> I once got married. You know what I had to do? I had to go talk to. I had to go talk to their family, the parents. I asked the father. How did I get permission? Permission. Probably. They, they, you know, they did, they checked my, my credit. You know, they did the whole line, you know. But that's the way it works. Is that true? Hmm? When you get married, is your dad going to have to give his blessing? No. Oh. <laughs> he has to give the blessing? Yeah. Will you listen to Pop? If your dad says, I will not let you marry that man. What are you going to do? My wife. Ah, he's perfect. <laughs> what about Yazi? Did your parents say yes? Or you just said, forget it, I'm doing what I want. What did your parents say? <laughs> said no. What did he offer? What did he offer? What did he offer? Just a ring. Nothing else? You guys know this is how it works? No, you guys just think this is how it works. He has to have a job. He has to have taken a bath. Is it shaved. You got to show up. What? How are you going to show up to ask that? You want to know what I did? I shouldn't tell you. I brought my grandparents with me. Um, that's a long story. Parents are, uh, well, you know. Took my grandparents. It yeah, it did work. <laughs> but then it didn't work, so. <laughs> it worked, and then it didn't work. 
that's the way it works. And a lot of cultures are different. But I just, it's sort of curious that even with daughters, I mean, in some other cultures, <laughs> daughters are actually even what? It's not that they bring revenue in. They what? They remove revenue. Do you guys know that? Is there any culture where if they, the daughter does get married, who's supposed to pay for the wedding? Who? The who? The daughter. Isn't it the daughter's side has to pay for the wedding? The fa Anybody remember that um, father of the bride? The father of the bride. In some cultures, it's what? When you get, your daughter gets married, the father has to fork over money for the wedding. So then it may start to look like having girls is not necessarily a what? Success. You see what I mean? Okay. So all of this you know, conversation we have here, it's not just learning about what you're doing and computing this probability. There's reasons, you know, some, you know, in some cultures even that having daughters is actually an expense. And that's why they don't want to have what? Daughters. Uh, what else is it? Cultural. What about taking care of parents? You guys know Social Security? I mean, you guys know that what you do when you get older and who takes care of you is also a cultural thing. It's a cultural thing. Do you guys know that? Ask around. Ask some people. Say, who's going to take care of you when you get older? Who do they, what do they say? Your children. In particular, which child? It depends on the culture. In some, the Japanese culture, who takes care of the parents? Whose responsibility is it? Huh? Who? The, who? the oldest son. The oldest son is to take care of the parents. So as a result, what happens with the oldest son? Oldest son is spoiled rotten. Well, it's not spoiled rotten, but you know. The oldest son is in a special privilege situation. Um, Hispanic culture. Hispanic culture. Who takes care of the parents? <laughs> Who takes care of them? Nobody? No. <laughs> Uh-uh, in that culture, no. Somebody's taking care of the parents. You ever go to somebody's house? They got grandpa and grandma there. They got everybody there. Why? Because it's cultural. You take care of the older people. They're not in a home. They're not in a home. In fact, some cultures look at homes as a disgrace. Does the white culture look at homes as a disgrace? Okay. I am half Mexican half Irish. Different families, different cultures, different beliefs. Mom's family has one, father has You know my dad told me, when I get to a certain age, you're going to put me in a home. Uh, see, you say sad. You see this? You go, oh my God, that's horrible, that's sad. From his perspective, is that sad? No. Yes, exactly. That culture looks at it that way. That culture says this. My father's belief was simply, look, if I get, to, if I get a certain age, you've got to put me in a home. You don't have a choice. That's what I expect, and that's what you're going to do. Okay? Why is that? Yeah, he, they, he doesn't want to be a burden. So he's going to say, put me in a home. 